With the continuous improvement of China's space station, the eyes of many countries are focused on it. For example, in December 2022, the New York Times of the United States published a report analyzing the reasons why scientists from many countries chose to conduct research on the Chinese space station. However, although the analysis this time is relatively objective, its previous reports used the cost to compare the Chinese space station and the International Space Station, saying that there is a big gap between the two. Because the cost of the Chinese space station is only 8 billion US dollars, but the International Space Station costs 100 billion US dollars. So, is the gap between the Chinese space station and the International Space Station really that big? Why is there such a big difference in the cost of the two space stations? Well, that and more is exactly what we are going to talk about today. Let's get started. The space station is an important base for human exploration of space. Humans have been building space stations since the last century. For example, the first module of the Soviet Mir space station was launched in 1986. Compared with the process of establishing space stations in other countries, China started relatively late. Because at that time, China was very backward in terms of economy and technology. Of course, the barrenness of reality cannot stop Chinese people from chasing their space dreams. So at that time, China also planned to build its own space station when it realizes the manned spaceflight project in the future. However, starting from scratch has always been extremely difficult. Therefore, when the construction of the International Space Station began in 1998, China expressed its desire to join this international cooperation project, but under the influence of various factors, it was finally rejected. In this way, this big guy without China's participation started to build, and it took about 14 years to complete the construction. Because it is an international cooperation project, the responsible countries of each part are different. It is like a group of retailers who rely on their own technology to piece together the product. The total weight of the International Space Station is about 423 tons, which can accommodate many astronauts working in orbit at the same time. Astronauts from various countries live together in it. These permanent resident crews are called long-term expedition teams, and the time limit is about six months. Perhaps it is because it is so big that the cost of the International Space Station is also very high. It is conservatively estimated that about 100 billion US dollars have been invested. Some people think that this is a complete waste of time and money because after the completion of the International Space Station, it did not bring particularly large benefits. In short, there are still many controversies surrounding the International Space Station, and these controversies may not disappear until it is decommissioned. The Chinese Space Station is named Tiangong, and its weight is much smaller than that of the International Space Station. The basic configuration is a three-cabin T-shaped configuration, which can meet the short-term life of six astronauts. However, the total number of long-term astronauts is only three. From this point of view, China's Tiangong Space Station has a smaller capacity than the International Space Station, and it is precisely because of this that some media always complain that the technology is too bad. After all, compared with the old guy of the International Space Station, China's core module was launched in 2021. It is still relatively young. Logically speaking, the technology should be more advanced and it should be built bigger. Perhaps to illustrate the flaws of China's space station, the New York Times also quoted Zhou Jianping, the chief designer of China's manned spaceflight, in a report on the space station, pointing out that the cost of the International Space Station has already reached 100 billion US dollars while China's space station only cost 8 billion US dollars, implying that the Chinese space station is too cheap. So, why does China spend so little? First of all, let's take a look at where so much money for the International Space Station has been spent. The $100 billion mentioned by the New York Times includes not only the initial construction costs, but also subsequent maintenance and operating costs. Over the years, there have always been some unexpected failures in certain parts of the International Space Station, so repairing these failures has also cost a lot of money. With the ultralong service of the International Space Station, its breakdown maintenance costs are constantly rising, sometimes reaching US$3 billion a year. 
In addition, it has to regularly deliver supplies to the astronauts living in the space station, and it would spend a lot of money. In addition to the six to seven permanent astronauts, there were as many as 13 astronauts staying here for a short period of time. In this case, it is reasonable for the International Space Station, which has been working for many years, to cost 100 billion US dollars. In addition, we just mentioned that this is an international cooperation project, and the contracting countries of each part are different. Therefore, whether it is in construction or maintenance, it is difficult to have a unified standard for charging. Moreover, the size of the International Space Station is so large, it is normal to invest more in construction than the Chinese Space Station. So, why can China's Tianjin Space Station only need 8 billion US dollars? Is it really because it is very cheap? In fact, the cost of 8 billion is the number given by Zhou Jianping, chief designer of China Aerospace Engineering, in an interview. As a senior figure who has participated in the construction of the space station from the beginning to the end, Professor Zhou Jianping was outspoken in the interview, pointing out that the construction cost of the Chinese space station does not exceed 8 billion US dollars. It should be noted that what is mentioned here is construction cost, while the 100 billion dollars of the International Space Station includes operation and maintenance costs, so comparing the difference between the two is essentially wrong. Of course, it is undeniable that China space station construction does save some money. Compared with the scale and cost of parts of the International Space Station, the Chinese space station is not as big as it was built, and it insists on using domestic parts. In this case, the construction cost of the Chinese space station is significantly reduced. In addition, the attribution properties of the two space stations are also different. The Chinese space station belongs to China alone, so there is no dispute whether it is the construction or the determination of the construction cost. The various decisions of the International Space Station mainly revolve around the United States and Russia, and are decided by these two main construction countries, which is quite controversial. Moreover, the Chinese space station has not been in space for a long time, and its operating and maintenance costs are relatively low. When the Chinese space station enters the late service stage in the future, these costs will increase relatively. It is worth mentioning that since the Chinese space station made a major breakthrough, the controversy surrounding the Chinese space station and the International Space Station has not disappeared. And I believe that through this video, everyone should understand that there are some false news in the media reports. By the way, after the decommissioning of the International Space Station, the Chinese space station will be the only base for human beings in space. Let us look forward to more astronauts from all over the world going to space to explore more secrets of mankind in the future. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news, we will see you in the next video.